Welcome, brothers and sisters. Real sisters. True sisters. <laughs> but, uh, no BAWs. But, um, man, man, man. Y'all see the title? It's crazy out here. <laughs> man, you know, you, you men, you men, you really gotta be careful who you, uh, who you associate with, man. Man, and you really gotta have a strong mind, you know. You really gotta have a very strong mind. You know, because you're dealing with a lot of wickedness in this world. You're dealing with a lot of weakness in this world. And you're dealing with the weaknesses of others. And, um, if you fall into the trap, if you find yourselves acknowledging or, or lending your ear to a lot of these individuals, then you're going to find yourself, you're going to find yourself stuck. You're going to find yourselves lost you know because you listen to these people and that was the wrong move to make why would you listen to these wicked people they mean you nothing but harm they mean you nothing I mean I, I it's not even is it it's not even that they even wish you harm <laughs> it's that they they just lack knowledge my people perish for lack of knowledge you know a lot of times you got to be very careful who you listen to because a lot of these men and women are going to destroy you if you listen to them if you take heed to their words they're going to destroy you. You know? And I hope that you don't want to be destroyed. I sincerely hope you don't want to be destroyed. You know? Man. These people have convinced themselves that they know something. Man, do you realize that they're like there are like masses and masses of groups of people that are that are sitting around talking about uh well you know the the economy is bad and you know the um you know the um <laughs> they just you know and uh they're talking about um you know you can't do this you know they're, they're, they're on drugs they're talking about spiritual things like like not even spiritual things they talk about spirits like like ghosts and I mean all they, they, they see ghosts they see spirits they see um you know they hear noises they hear voices you know, they're telling you all these things and, you know, and you're like, well, I didn't hear no voices. <laughs> I didn't hear no voices and, you know, I'm not thinking about that right now because I'm doing this over here, you know. You know, and these people are locking themselves in their rooms, they're you know, they, they're stuck in their room. Their own mental prison. And they need some company. <laughs> they desperately need company. You know, misery loves company. Is, is that what they say? You know? Misery loves company. Man, they can't wait to, you know... You know, people need people that think like them. They say birds of a feather flock together. 
And what amazes what amazes me, if you think about the black community, for instance, you know, these people are caught in a mental paradigm. They're they're stuck, they're trapped in a mental box in a cage. You know? They're stuck in a in a jail cell, a mental jail cell, and they love to try to convince you and I that we need to come we are we all in the jail cell nah dude you in the jail cell too you just don't realize it. <laughs> we all in the jail you know this is this is this is their thinking and then some silly white female comes jogging through their neighborhood you know you know you know the the houses with all the ghosts and stuff in it. You know the the the, 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 the wicked spirits. You know, she buys that house. She fixes up that house, and then she sells that house. And then she goes to the next house on that same block where all those goofy ass black people are on there talk about. All these evil spirits and these ghosts and I'm not going in there and I, I can't do nothing with that and you know no I just need to you know you you your problem is you don't you don't realize you in the you in the cage and you need to stay in the cage that's what's wrong with you see you're gonna find out the hard way you know these men are literally they they need company, you know. These men, these women, these parasites, <laughs> they need you in the cage with them, you know. They need company, and uh, it's gonna be very hard, you know. It's gonna be very hard. Because the cage is full. <laughs> Standing room only. You know? No elbow room. You know? The cage is full. Brothers? Man. And then when you try to step outside the cage, you got all these people ready to attack you. You know? Get back in the cage. Who the hell you think you are that you think you want to live outside the cage? You know? You think you special? You think you all that? You a sellout. You sold out. <laughs> Get back in the cage. That's what's wrong with you, Nick Rose. You know? Damn, man. I didn't even realize we was in the cage, man. Okay, thank you for telling me that we was in the cage and uh, you know, and helping me get back in there so I could be just like you. You know, with you and all the wicked spirits that are running around here. You know, damn, it's amazing, man. I see this happen all the time. I see all these wicked, all these wicked people in the cage and. Then I see a bunch of um, other people that don't seem to realize that there, there's a cage and they're just doing whatever they want. You know, they're just walking around, buying houses, fixing them up. You know, they're starting businesses. They're doing all kinds of things because for some reason, these people just don't realize that they're in a cage. You know, they, they magically... Uh, they magically find other people to work with. They magically come up with the funds. It's, it's just, it's, it's, it's like, it's like it's by magic. You know, it's not really magic, but you know, it seems like it's, it's, it's by magic. <laughs> you know, these people magically come up with the funds. They magically find people, find a uh, cooperative people that they can work with. You know, man, it must be, you know. 
And I, I, I've, I've never liked living. I would never like living in a cage, man. I don't like. I'm, I don't like being a caged animal. You know. You know. But there's all these people around. There's all of these wicked people around you. Like God, yeah. I can't even function around you wicked people. Y'all talk too much. Shut up. Don't you realize when you open up your mouth, you make yourself look like a damn fool? And you really and, and you really sound convincing. You 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 really sound convincing. You're like, damn, you know. I mean these people these people really sound convincing. You know? It's like damn, you know. It's like damn that person. That, you know, if you allow these people to convince you that their reality is your reality, then you're gonna be locked in the cage with them. You know. Welcome to the caged, the, the you know the the caged animal. You know the uh. <laughs> You know, to kill a mockingbird, to uh, <laughs> uh what is that? What is, what is that saying about the uh, caged bird? Put it in the comment section. <laughs> you know, man, it must be hard being a caged bird, man. Man, I, I pray for you individuals, man. I pray that you can get out the cage, man. Because the Most High. I mean, if you believe in the most high, I mean, God, Lee, how do you believe in the most high and at the same time believe that you a caged monkey? I don't I don't understand that. I never got that. So you believe in the most high. You know, the Bible inside out. But yet and still, you are constantly trying to convince everybody that they need to be in the caged. In the cage with you, you know you got the whole you got the whole Bible twisted. Man, I, I just I'm just so glad that I don't have to have to deal with a lot of y'all. You know because you, you know I would be really messed up in the game if I listened to you. If I if I acknowledged you man if I acknowledge you were you know that what you were saying is a reality I would be I would be you know I would be finished I would truly be finished you know because what can I do you know I want I like you we cool with each other. So, you know, I need to get in the cage with you. I don't want to lose your friendship. <laughs> I don't want to lose your friendship, so I'm going to get in the cage with you. You know? Man. Let's get in the cage together. No, no big deal. No big deal. Let's get in the cage together. Man, 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 man. Man, the world is filled with wicked people, brother. The world is filled with wicked people, brothers. And ultimately, you're in a battle with these people. You're in a battle with these people. These people want your very soul. I mean, this is how bad they need company, man. No, I mean, I understand it because, you know, you don't want to be, you don't want to be the only one. You don't want to face the reality that is you. That it's you that's the problem. 
So you want to get, you want to find somebody else and you want to try to convince them that, that you're not the only one. You're not the only idiot in the world. That your reality is actual reality. But then you see some weird white chick or some weird white dude jogging around your community, you know, writing down houses. They're just going about their they're just going about their lives and and, 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 and uh and prospering. They're just going about their lives, they're prospering, you know, they're not um you know, because they don't think like you do. You know, they are, you know, fortunately for them, they were blessed not to have to have that extra bag of garbage sat on top of their head. You know, that extra black bag of black garbage. That's why a lot of people don't want to deal with with a lot of you Negroes. It's not the fact that that you're black per se is that your mentality is black, <laughs> you know. You got a black mentality. And if those people deal with you, you are going to tear them down. You know, you're going to tear them down as well because your mind is filled with wickedness. Your mind is filled with uh, with negativity, you know, and a lot of a lot of times it might not be your fault. But you got you got to wake up, man. You got to snap out of this. Uh, you got to snap out of it, man. You know, I know it's very hard for a lot of you. I know it's extremely hard. You know, life is coming at you. That, that That's the thing right there. Life just keeps coming at you. And you make you make it worse. By opening up your your mouth. You know. You make your own life a living hell. Because you don't shut up. You just can't be quiet. You know you it, it's not it's not about you necessarily shutting your mouth, which, you know, partly it is, <laughs> but it's more about you quieting your mind, quieting those negative thoughts that you're running around with that tell you that, no, you can't do that. No, you're not going to be able to accomplish this. No, you are. Uh, who the hell are you? You you know, you don't deserve to have that. You don't deserve to, I mean, imagine right now that there's a person who, who, who never even had those thoughts. They never even had those thoughts. You know, those thoughts have never, those thoughts never actually entered their mind. You know? Those thoughts never entered their mind they they have no idea what the hell you're talking about and this is what i'm telling you brothers i mean this this you know y'all, y'all can read between the lines you know there are people who say who are telling you you know to get your ass back on the plantation <laughs> you know what i mean nigger <laughs> Get your ass back on the plantation. Who the hell you think you are? You know? You think you can you think you can uh You think you better than us? You think you what what, what you mean you getting off the plantation? <laughs> You know, you leaving us, you selling us out, we're going to kill you, we're going to kill you because you a sellout, you sold us out, you know, I haven't sold out the black race, I haven't sold out the black community, I've sold out the black mentality, 
You know, it's played out. Nobody wants to hear it. Nobody wants to hear no none of your black, black, blackity black excuses. Your dark aura, your 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 negativity. I mean, don't think that it's just black people. There are there are a shit ton of white people who have who have black mentalities too. They have dark, 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 dark mentalities. Their mentality is very dark. It's very, you know, bland. It's very um it's very um negative. You know, they have a very, 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 very negative attitude. And um you they you know, it's it's you know, it's not about it's not about race. It's all about your mentality, man. Now we, you know, I'm not naive. I'm not naive enough to think that there aren't people who are out here who are taking advantage of those weaknesses, those weaknesses of of, of black people. Black people, black people have a, a mental weakness. And there are people out here who must reinforce those weaknesses. They need to reinforce those weaknesses because because it puts them in a it puts them in a, a better position. As long as you goofballs are out there believing in ghosts and in um and believing in, in all of these ghosts and in all of these things, you know. And I mean, you men, a lot of you men don't even live for anything. A lot of you men and, and women, y'all don't live for anything. Y'all live to get shit, which is why you're, you're never going to be happy. You got to live for something more. Than just to get something. You know. You got to have a mission. You got to have a mission. Because. You got to remember that. A lot of people are going to come along. And attempt to sway you. From side to side. You know. They're going to attempt to take you. Around your goal. Instead of directly to it. That's why a mission. Is important. You have to always be able to stay on mission. You know, regardless of what other what direction other people are trying to pull you in. Because they're because they're not going to stop. They're wicked. They're evil. And this is why you're, you're supposed to live a set apart life. You're supposed to be set apart from them. So that your mind can be at peace. You know. A lot of you. Live for nothing. You live for nothing man. That, that I mean that must be hard man. It must be hard to live for nothing. You know. Man what that. What, the, what must that be like. You just. You just live just to get stuff. You live just to get material things, you know. You live just to um You live just to get material. You live just to get, you know, uh I mean you, you just have no real direction. I mean, things are not going to um may you know improve your life i mean they're i mean they you know they're they 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 provide convenience you know you get a car because it's more convenient for you to have a car than it is for you to get on the bus you know but getting things for the purpose of simply getting them that's no life at all you can't take anything with you when you leave <laughs> you know you can't take any of this with you. And if you and if this is the way you 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 live, how you how you going to convince your your um children of any kind of legacy? It has to be a mission behind that. 
There has to be a mission behind why you live. A purpose. And the purpose cannot be because you want this or you want that. You know, that that can't that can't be the purpose. I mean, that can't be the that can't be a purpose because that's no purpose at all. We get we get a truck because a truck will help us move things around easily. We get a pickup truck. You know, put our tools in the back of it and it helps us move things around easily. You know, helps us move people around easily. Man, the world is truly your oyster, man, because you, the reason why the world is, is your oyster is because there are so many ignorant people. There are so many ignorant people that you you really have no competition. There's no real competition in this world other than people who are in the know. But the vast majority of of the people in this world are nothing but sheeps. Sheeps head stew. You know? And they've convinced you. They've convinced you that you need to just do what they believe is best. You're actually doing what's best for them. You're not doing what's best for yourself. You're doing what's best for them. What will make them feel comfortable. What will make them feel at peace, at ease. Because, you know, what will happen if you break the, break the paradigm? What will happen if you break out of the cage? If you don't believe in the ghost, they're going to be all alone. They can't have that, you know. Oh my God, they're gonna have to look in the mirror and realize it was me all along. I was the idiot who believed in ghost. You know, I believe that. You know, I spent years and years and years believing in ghosts, and now I realize that it was all a figment of my imagination. You know, and now I got to try to play catch up in life. Now I got to now I got to try to catch up. So now I'm 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 doing all kinds of negativity because because I'm I'm way behind. You know, I'm doing all kinds of devilishment. I'm you know, I live this life of kill or be killed. A cut I'm I'm a cutthroat individual. I'm wicked because my entire life I've been lying to myself. So where do I begin? I gotta go straight to that one guy that that I grew up with that is doing great doing better than me, and instead of trying to learn from him. What I'm gonna do is I'm a you know I'm gonna cut his throat. You know some of them might attempt to learn from you, but they they see you as competition. You know there's nothing wrong with competition, but competition should be healthy competition. Now every other race of people understands healthy competition. You know you can compete. You compete with people. You compete with people, but you compete in a healthy way. You understand that it's all for the benefit of the entire group, not just yourself. Not just your narcissistic narcissistic self. You know? You got to have a mission. See, this is what's lacking in the uh, so-called black community the be black community you know this is what's wrong this is what's missing in the be black community you know man 
Y'all got to raise the bar. Raise the bar and come out the cage. You know? Man, man, man. What it must be like. I mean, I, I come across this type of thing every day. I come across this type of negative, uh, negative energy every day where some wicked person is trying to convince me that they see ghosts and spirits and they must lock themselves in the room. And they want and I tell them, hey, well, I don't see those ghosts. I never seen them. I never seen them. I've been, I've been coming over here forever. I've been coming in and out of here, this house forever, and I've never seen a ghost or a spirit. So please come out the room. No. Well, I seen the ghost and and and, and, and such and such a seen the ghost too. So there so there's ghost in here. And I'm worried. I'm scared. I'm afraid to come out. You know? And you can't convince these people that there's no ghost in the room, man. There's no convincing them, man. They, 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 they need to be in that cage. And I start thinking, man, is it the house that's haunted or is it you? You know, is it the house? I mean, because I can take you from one house to a brand new house. And the only thing that's changed is you. The houses, the houses didn't change. You know, the only thing that's actually changed is that you are in a different house, but you are still there. Wherever you go, there you are. You know, you can't escape yourself. You can't escape your own wickedness. You can't escape your own deep demonic self. You know, man. I feel sorry for a lot of you, man. Y'all are just caught up in the demonology, man. Y'all just caught up in your own demonology, man. You know, people people call that a curse. You know, are black people cursed? That's what everybody's asking. Are black people cursed? You know? Yeah, a lot of you do have a lot. You, a lot of y'all do have them curses on you, and you need to you need to you need to uh you need to back them down. You need to have mental fortitude. You need to understand that a lot of these a lot of a lot of these things are coming from you yourself. You're convincing yourself of certain things. You're telling yourself certain things. You're telling yourself that you can't do this. You're telling yourself. I mean, if you convince yourself that you can't do something, then who am I to argue? I can't. I'm not going to try to convince a person that they can do something that they don't, that they've already convinced themselves that they can't do. You know, what I'm saying is stop trying to convince everybody else. You know, stop being wicked. Stop allowing your weaknesses, you know, to spread because, you know, your weaknesses are spreading. Your weaknesses will only affect other weak minded people. You know. Your weaknesses will only affect other weak minded people. You know, because what? Birds of a feather flock together. They need each other. You know, no one wants to be in a cage. I mean, if you got to be in a cage, you don't want to be by yourself in the cage. You need some company. You know. You want some company, don't you? Man, man, man. Man, 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 man. Like I said, brothers, man, I hope that you brothers are not in the cage. And if you find yourselves in the cage, 
I hope you understand how to get out. I understand. I hope you understand that who who put you, I don't know. I mean, you might you might not have put yourself in the cage, but you are keeping yourself in the cage with your mouth. You know, and you don't have to open your mouth to actually speak. <laughs> you know, you convince yourself of things. You keep telling yourself, I oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. You know, I'm a, you know, the black community, you know, the B black community is, is, is you know, it's, 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 it's this, it's that. I mean, you know, I can't do this, can't do that. You know, the white man, the, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I mean, that's why a lot of these uh, so-called white people are looking at you crazy because they're like, I mean, who the hell told you you can't do this or you that? Because I didn't. I mean, maybe a long time ago, my ancestors told you that you couldn't do this and you couldn't do that. But I had, I didn't do that. I didn't tell you you couldn't do this or do that. Now, you know, when we're talking about groups, there is competition amongst groups. You know, and some people. Some of these groups do not want to um, do not practice healthy competition when it comes to other people. They do not practice healthy competition. They want to win by any means necessary. That's their mentality. They want to win by any means necessary and they're wicked and they're evil. But you have to understand what the Bible says about about. Their riches are laid up for the righteous. So they can go out there, they can get everything in the world, but it's laid up for the righteous. They think they're doing something. They think they're out there doing something, but because they're wicked, because they're evil, and because they have no true mission, they have no real mission, you know. Then, you know, that's why they lose it all. See, because it's about getting stuff. It's about, you know, rob, steal, kill, all to get things that you cannot take with you. You know? And even when you leave it to your children, they squander it. Look at all these these um farm look at all these farms that are going to shit. There are just like farm after farm after farm after farm that are all going to shit because a lot of these people got these farms. They work the farms. You know, they sent their kids to college and their kids don't want nothing to do with no damn farm work. You know. And then the people get so old, nobody in the family wants to be a farmer. So this all of this land just is just sitting there. It's just like whatever it go, you know the land goes to crap you know the uh you know they they end up selling it off for cheap you know because i mean they 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 they're, they're city people now you know man 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 all the you know you know they got all they got all the riches but it just didn't last you know Man, but there's 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 all kinds of uh, opportunities for you so-called black people. If you were, you know, if if y'all, uh, you know, now that y'all are uh, coming into somewhat of an understanding of how things work around here, you know, I mean, at least the Asian man, he he got he got he got smart really quick. He's like, okay, this is how they want to operate. This is how they want to operate. You know, okay, well, we, what, what, this is what we gonna do. This is how they wanna operate. See, now it no longer matters how, now it no longer matters how, how, how the color of your skin, you know, the color of your skin no longer matters. You know, you thought you was the best of the best. I mean, they could, they could talk that crap in America because in America, that might mean something. It don't really mean anything, but. You know, in America, it, 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 might, it means more than it means anywhere else. <laughs> There's no other place in the world where it actually means anything. So what? We're not white and we run in circles around you motherfuckers. You, you had all the time in the world to do what was right by Africa. 
But what you wanted to do is 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 uh you know is mistreat the people. Now the the Asian uh man is coming along and he's treating the people. He's treating the people, you know, with some more, somewhat more of a respect than you are. He's not truly respectful, but he's treating them with more respect and dignity. He's he's doing it the right way, even whether even though he's getting it for cheap or he's getting it for the low. He's doing it in a respectful way. I will give you this for this. I'm not going to come in here, bring you some fucking religion, tell you that you were heathen and try to convert you over the, the whatever the Chinese Islam is. The Chinese version of Islam, they're not trying to convert you. You know, they they will, they will let you leave your culture intact. They will go out there and put infrastructure in place. You know, well, how's it feel, you know? Now you sitting around now these so called people who thought they was, you know, all that. Now they seeing up uh, they're they're seeing people doing the things that they should have done forever ago. They should have let go of all this negativity and did what was right. And then maybe they could claim that they were they would they would they were the best. They were the best of the best. But no, you know. You know, you know, it was just it was just based on face value. <laughs> you know, face value. Action speak louder than words, man. We all know this, man. Action speak louder than words, man. You can't run around and say you the best and you 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 better than everybody else. And then your actions don't reflect that of a person who is better than anyone else. You know? Your actions are not reflective of your words, you know. But as I stated, brothers, man, I hope that you brothers are have a full understanding and grasp of, you know, and, and why do why do certain men gravitate towards other people? They gravitate towards other people because they are positive people, you know, no positive person. You know, a po- positivity is like a light. And when a pot and when positivity gets around a bunch of dark auras, the light goes out. You know, people are always he's he's constantly being bombarded with negativity. And, and, and each day the light goes out a little, you know, more and more and more. If he's not like a strong minded individual, if he doesn't have a strong mind, that light will go out. So I hope that you brothers have that strong mind. You know, I hope that you brothers have that strong mind and that strong will. And I hope that you see these people around you for the enemies that they truly are, because these people are your enemies. They're truly trying to snuff out your light, light given to you by the Messiah. You know. Light given to you, the spark that was given to you at birth. They're trying to snuff that out. These are your true enemies. Anyone, black, white, or otherwise, who would try to snuff out your light and convince you of a lie. These are your enemies. And you must see them for the enemies that they truly are. And you must do whatever possible to get them out of your life and gravitate towards people who are positive in nature. You know, and and, 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 and the most important thing is to have a mission, have a mission that is beyond simply getting things. You know, getting things is not the mission. Because, you know, the the most happy people are the uh, the people who have less things. The the happiest people are the people who have less things. You know, they they have the ability to go get things if they need them. They know how to get it in whatever way form they need to get it. You know. But they're the happiest because they're because their life does not revolve around things. 
Like if somebody like you got to ask yourself a question, if somebody came along and they took those things away from you, would it would it would it really would it affect your life detrimentally? You know, that's when you know that you have to live a different life. You can't allow things to be your purpose because things come and go. You know, and if somebody can simply take that thing from you and it'll destroy your life, then you are not prepared and you are not in the right position. You're not in the position you're supposed to be in. Brothers, sisters. On that note, I want to say peace. Hit the comment section. Let me know what you think. Get on the five steps and adopt the moral code.